the big prize that people have been focusing on is the governor's race, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Our, our race in uh, North Carolina in 2016, one of two highly competitive gubernatorial contests in the country in this coming election cycle, we will see a lot of outside interest in this race, both from Republican governors and Democratic governors associations, outside independent expenditure groups. We're calculating that somewhere in the neighborhood of $100 million, perhaps even more, will be spent by these outside groups in the governor's contest. Uh, the polling so far has shown it to be very competitive. Relatively speaking, Roy Cooper, the Democrat, and Pat McCrory, the Republican, more or less equal in the polling, equal in their own campaign finance uh, a- activities. It's just going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be a nasty campaign all the way through Election Day would be, would be my assumption at this point. We are speaking with Joe Stewart, who is executive director of the North Carolina Free Enterprise Foundation. And Joe, uh, this really has been the prize that Democrats who have had struggles in recent elections have been looking at. You know, let's let's focus first and foremost on getting the governor's mansion back in Democrats' hands. Isn't that really the, the focus? Well, I, I think to some extent the irony of this particular election cycle is the North Carolina Democratic Party more or less nationalized after the 2008 presidential contest is a lot more like the National Democratic Party than the historic North Carolina Democratic Party for the 140 years after the Civil War. Roy Cooper is really a vestige of the old Democratic Party, but he is, by all accounts, the best prospect the Democrats have to try to take the governor's mansion back from uh, the Republican Pat McCrory. So the irony there is that the new Democratic Party really has not been able to find anybody of the kind of stature that the old Democratic Party produced. 